Hello everyone. Today we would be learning how to insert mathematical equations and symbols on Google Form. Here we would be using a simple copy-paste method. We will not be using any equation editor or any other mathematical editor. Let's go ahead and open a Google Form page. I also have a question bank ready from where I would be copy-pasting the question. Let me copy this first question. A normal copy paste would work here and I have pasted this question. I can either type the answers or I can copy them as well. And we can proceed this way. Now, Let's try to copy paste the next question. What I see here is the fraction three by five has not come the way we expected it to come. The Google form doesn't let you type mathematical symbols, certain expressions and equations like fractions. Or square roots. So in that case what we can do is we can use a snip tool. Let's go ahead and open the snip tool. If you do not have one you can install one. And the question we are going to copy we will have to snip it first. So this question I'm going to copy. So what area I'm selecting it captures that. Now I can go ahead and save it. Maybe I'll save it as question two for my convenience. So insert image, upload option, Browse. So our question two is here. It has come here. Now, but what do we do with the options? Each time we'll have to snap these options, save them separately. Instead, what I would do is let me show this as a third question. Add question. Instead of copying and saving each of these options as images, what we could do is we could entirely snip the complete question itself. Let's open this. Let's open the snip again. New. With the options. What am I doing here is I'm going to snip it with the options and I will save it. Question three. And then I go ahead and insert it here. Insert image, upload, browse. You can also drag them here as well. Question three is here and I open it. So my question three appears here. Now, how do I give the students an option? If it is a multiple choice question, I can give it here A, then B, C, D. Now, if you would like to see how your question appears, click on preview. If you see here, here we did not give the options, but here, this is how we gave it. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you all. Thank you.